What's up guys, Jfraud Sports here. Uh, my first ever video and I'm gonna be saying why Kadarius Tony actually being traded was actually the right move for the Giants and why I think it's a good trade. Honestly quite shocking to me. I didn't think they would trade him, but after seeing this tweet right here, uh, they traded him for a third round pick. Uh, actually it was apparently conditional, but actually it's not conditional anymore. And a sixth round pick, which a guy that some league executives thought he would be worth a fifth round pick, and that's and the guy that's never really played. This is a great deal for uh, the Giants to pull this off. They have nine picks in the draft now. Um, I mean, I would expect them to try to go after a receiver. I mean, if they don't, it's like whatever. I mean, we probably sign somebody. I mean, hopefully, you know, Odell Beckham comes back. But uh, I think this is a good move. I think they're going to the right direction. I mean, uh, this isn't the first time. Joe Shane's been part of um, a an organization that would trade a second year receiver. This happened to Sandy, Sammy Watkins. Obviously, Kadarius Tony, as you see on this tweet, um, apparently isn't injured. I mean, apparently his hamstrings are pretty fake. I don't know. They already seem fake to me because they like never seem to work. Um, this is a good trade for us because this guy just seems like an issue. I mean, people thought Odell Beckham was a distraction. But clearly, this guy is. I mean. He's played 12 of the 24, or I think it was 13 of the 24 games he could have played. That's like 53% or something. It's That's not good. Okay, this guy is an issue. I mean, Kenny Galladay is a problem. We're gonna we're going the right we're going the right direction. It's a six and one team as they don't have much expectations, but to be like a four win team, I think we're going the right way. I mean, sucks that you know that pick could have worked out for us, but you know that wasn't Joe Shane's pick. It was you know that loser Dave Gettleman's fault. I mean that guy's just the stupidest guy on the planet. That's why he doesn't have a job. That's why he was forced into retirement. I mean, this guy probably wouldn't still on the team. I mean, we cleared one million dollars in cap space. We have around probably like four point five million, I would think. But you know, this is a good trade. I think. I think um, it's a really good trade for us. As Brian Dable said today, uh, that it was the best move for the team, and I trust them more than I would trust Kadarius Stoney because the guy doesn't play. I hope I hope we um, keep on winning because this is it's been fun to watch. I mean, we have guys like Davis Sills, which isn't like a great receiver. Marcus Johnson drop issues, but Wando Robinson was his replacement. And I think that was the plan the whole time. Most people thought it was Sterling Shepard just because of his age and the contract cut down. That was they cut down on his contract to just sign a couple players because their team is their team had nobody coming into the season, so. Mono Rob, I think they wanted to give Kadarius Tony a shot, but I don't think he, you know, hit what he was supposed to do. I mean, he's played what? He has two catches, like zero yards, and like one rush for like eight on a like a fake quarterback, like or a receiver pass. We have a future in this team, and we have nine picks in the draft. We're going the right direction. We're already winning. I mean. We're off to an early start in our rebuild because this team is still rebuilding. Don't I know they're six and one, but it's awesome that we're six and one. But don't forget, even if say next year we go we go to the playoffs this year, next year we don't make playoffs. Don't be that upset because this team's still rebuilding. They're still young. Daniel Jones has proven that he could be a starter for this team and be the franchise quarterback. He's proved me wrong. He's proved a lot of people wrong. I think receivers the Giants could go after is DJ Moore. Possibly Jerry Judy played with Dable in Bama. There's some or Terrence Marshall. The Panthers seem to want to move him. Uh, there's a lot of things we could do, and that's it's awesome. I'd like to see that we're we're willing to just get rid of players that aren't bought into what we're trying to do, and are only going to be a distraction. I'm tr I'm sure he's a good guy, but he, let's be honest, it. It's honestly worse than Jalen Rager's career with the Eagles. I mean, this guy doesn't even have a touchdown. Andrew Thomas is a left tackle. One of the best in the league. Oh, no, the best. Let me correct that. The best tackle in the league. He's not a, he's not a receiver. So why does he have more touchdowns than Gary Stoney? Kenny Galladay, this this trade is showing that Kenny Galladay is completely next. Because nothing Kenny Galladay could do to really justify him staying on the team. He could go out and score 12 touchdowns. It doesn't matter. His money is ridiculous. He should never got paid that. I'm sure he's gonna want to really try now because the team's winning. But he, I don't know if that's his best effort. The guy sprained his knee from not even like, thrown to. He's not. He's not like an athletic receiver. He's more of like a big body. Throw it up to. 
doesn't fit our team. So yeah, I, I think this is a good trade. I think it's a good, really good trade. It clears money and cap space. If we got like a lot, we got a good amount of cap space. We're set up for the future. We we have like seventy million dollars next year because the cap space is gonna go up. We might have more because we're gonna cut some players and free up some cap space. We also got uh, bring back Barkley. This this is a good trade. I trust what we're doing here. This is if you guys if you guys are Kadarius Tony lovers, I'm sorry, but the guy isn't working out for him. The guy the he what does he what do you do? Like come on. I, I want you guys to tell me in the comments what Kadarius Tony done to deserve a spot in this team. And don't get me wrong, I mean I hope he does get another Chiefs, but at best ability is availability and he's yet to show that and I'd rather have somebody that's gonna like not, you know, juke you out of your shoes, I mean, that can play, and score touchdowns, they're just slain, the guy was, wasn't even active, he wasn't even active, and he's played better than him, he has more touchdowns than Gadarius Tony this season, than he's had in two seasons, like, I don't know, the guy doesn't play, I mean, Every time, I swear to God, he plays a game, he's out the next game. Like, he's not even practice. Whoa. He's not even involved in the team. They're not 6-1 and because of Gadarius Tony. They're not 6-1 and because of Kenny Galladay. Fabian Moreau was a practice squad corner, and he's productive. It doesn't matter where you're from, where you're taken, what you're paid. If you help us win, that's how you're going to play. To me, Brian Dable's like modern Bill Belichick. Like, he, like they ask him, like... Um, what was like the, about the trade? And he's like, um, we thought it was best for the team on the C Seattle, not Cincinnati. I was gonna say Cincinnati, but on the Seattle, it's a good trade. If you guys are sad about it, I'm sorry. It's nothing you can do about it. Wando Robinson's already performed more better than him in two games. He's played. He has a touchdown. It's not that hard to do your job. Carries Tony, kind of do his. Also, I'd like to add on Carries Tony. Apparently, he's been faking his like injuries like yeah so if you guys are still sad about this is like i'm sorry but this guy is really weird he ended up deleting this tweet but like the <laughs> the fact that all of a sudden he gets traded for the giants I mean, he goes after the fans like you're gonna lose that battle every time he's he goes and says that he's not really injured he's just faking injuries like he literally says this is that joke would have been funny if I was actually hurt still. LOL. Irrelevant people don't get updates. What's your update? That you're fucking terrible? <laughs> like, dude, you're not good. Like, stop. Get the hell out of here. Like, dude, this is your first impression on Chiefs fans? Is that you're apparently you like the fake injuries because you're, like, sad? Like, stop it, dude. Get get out of here. Like, I'm sorry, but you quit faking your injuries. Get over it. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you on the next video. This is my first video. Hopefully they can keep doing more. And, you know, you guys watch. See ya on the next video.